Amen. We back. We back in the Lord. And I'm praising God today. I'm praising God today. Because when I don't even know who I am in the flesh anymore. The identity of Jesus Christ, the working of the Holy Ghost, has so taken over my day, taken over my life, taken over my plate, taken over my appetite, taken over my wishes, taken over my demeanor, taken over my considerations, and the significance of who he is, the day star has risen in my heart. The realization of the eternity of the Godhead is risen in my mind. The life of Jesus is risen in my spirit. He is risen. He's rising in me. And I'm no longer detecting the form, the pattern of the old world. And through rejection, rejecting this, rejecting that, because I know there's a greater glory. Moses, I know there's a greater power. I know there's a greater kingdom that's available to me. Well, me rejecting this has ushered me into this. Just like if you want to learn how to skateboard, you just start skateboarding and put all your energy, all your time, all your effort, all your emotion into it. When I started putting all my energy, all my time, all my emotion into Jesus, into reading his Bible, into who he really is, and to going digger and, and digging deeper and trying to figure out what's going on here, what all this means, what all this is, what is the order of all this? And then in the order of all this, the organization, the descriptions, the codes, the paramounts, the scriptures unveil to me. They open up. I see the God I serve. Okay. I experience the God I serve. Now, because I saw him, he's in my eyes forever because he's eternal. And I witnessed him in this segment, the eternity for the next four jillion years. It is, it's in me. I saw it. I witnessed it. So if I see God, it's not just, oh, I saw a movie and forget about it. If I see God in my dreams and my vision and my wife and my life and my ministry, then permanently I've been scarred. Permanently, there's no escape. So a lot of times the door for you to really just immerse deep in that door, you got to want it with all your heart, all your soul, because God is an all in all God. So when you, that's why he says, when you give him all your heart, you're going to find him. When you give him all your mind, when you give him all your time, when you give him all your energy, you're going to start finding God. And if your heart becomes pure enough, you're going to start seeing God. Now, if you're finding God, that's cool. But if you're finding God and you're seeing God at the same time, that's even cooler. Now, now, now you're discovering God, but you're eyewitnessing him at the same time. Okay. Now, people that do these kind of things. They start walking in a level of prophecy nobody's ever seen before. They start living in a realm of the miraculous that doesn't make sense to the average believer. Okay. Now, if you understand the infinite, the invisible, and that the infinity is visible inside the kingdom of heaven, not within God separate from you, but within God and you as one with him, as God, inside, now you have taken... God, the way you're supposed to, placed him inside of you the way you're supposed to, rejected and let go of yourself the way you're supposed to, and now you've entered into Jehovah. This is Jehovah's spirit. You've walked into his spirit. Now, can you imagine what's going to happen? Now, we speak words. You know, we have a human vessel. We sweat. We, um, we stutter. We have to gulp. We try to talk about the things, but there was an infinite expression throughout eternity that is being explored, it's being expressed. It's, 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 it's occurring inside of us. So I'm speaking about this reference. Now, when you experience it, see I have a lot of experiential time. Before I make these videos, I'm experiencing God. I'm experiencing his glory. I'm hanging, I'm walking in a supernatural realm. Now I'm talking about what is being witnessed. Your job is to receive and experience the wisdom, not, oh, they were just in church. Everybody was yelling. People were, ah, da, blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, you're looking at it through a fleshly perspective. The receptivity of heaven is different than receiving on earth. You receive it by faith. And 
you watch those YouTube videos, you go to those church services, and you receive it. Now, I'm trying to tell you something because we can talk about God all day. We can talk about Jesus all day. We can talk about the Bible all day. But when you understand these parallels, when you understand day to day the activities and how the spirit moves and, and this is where the supernatural is. And when we can, we, when, when we, I'm excited, when we can break it down and we can, we can, in, in a proper, in a practical way that you can understand, then you'll be able to walk in such a realm of glory that's available to you. You'll be able to live higher than your circumstances because it's available to you. The universe is available to all of us. We're able to look at Saturn, but who, who, who's actually going to the moon? The people that have the spaceships. Well, if we in Christ, we got the spaceships. Other people looking around, oh, well, God, I don't know, but we got the spaceship to the moon. But the thing is, see, the world keeps everything a secret. The world, well, I learned how to make money. I'm not going to tell about nobody. That's not how God works. We bring everybody on a spaceship. We bring everybody that's available. You know what? I learned something. I learned something. I love what's I love what's happening right now. The more I learn to get comfort, comfortable and just chill and not worry about what my videos look like, like and the more I just start to like let me get loose, which I'm all, a lot of times I'm always uptight, I'm ready to roll, I'm ready to roar, I'm ready to get my lion on, but as I, as I, as, as I get loose and as I let go, the spirit just begins to usher in and move and flow and flourish and activate and anoint the elixir and you know what all comprehension levels begin to just incline i begin to sit at my father's table and i begin to eat like what he's saying what he's thinking what he's feeling what he's looking like what he's his appearance i i take it as manna i eat it like yogurt i i absorb it like the sunlight i i gaze upon it like my wife in something beautiful in a nice dress i i i i um i i want to i want to i want to spend more time whether it's Maybe, maybe when I'm playful, the Lord will play chess with me. Maybe when I'm more serious, he'll teach me a lesson. So I'm learning all these behaviors, these appearances through personality checks and through different dimensions of the movement of God. Not the movement of God of, well, he's over there, he's over there. No, no, no. The movement of God and who he is as a being of love, as my father, as my God, as my savior, as my lover, as my king. As my, you know what I'm saying? So... When I observe, and, and you, you got to have the Holy Ghost to do this. I don't care. There's a lot of spiritual people on earth. There's a lot of wise people. I love people. Like when you serve Jesus, you fall in love with people. It don't matter what, what their background is. It doesn't matter what their religion is. You love people. And love doesn't always make sense because love can also be a violent force of rebuke. You're like, well, how could you love me when you scarred me? No, no, no. I rebuked you. I scarred you. I put you through darkness so you'll never make that same mistake.